Hey guys, Joe Holland here with Bass Cat. I want to introduce you to my new 2016 Bass Cat Cougar FTD. Check this rig out. We got a couple cool features. The um, one that guys have been asking for for years is a heavy duty latch. It's the same latching system, but what they did was they beefed it up. They went to a half inch of stainless steel, it's uh, spring loaded. All the components are really strong and nice. And, and what that does is if you accidentally leave it up like that and you go to close it, you're not going to bend your latch. Things are strong, they're rugged, um, they latch very strong. When you're open, little red button shows you that you're unlocked. You know, so if you want to leave it up, you can, sometimes I'll leave this just like this. If it's not really rough out, then I don't even have to mess with the latch when I'm going in and out to get in my tackle. So that's really cool. I like that. I like the red indicator to show you whether it's locked or not. I like how rugged it is and strong it is. You're not going to bend that. They're not going to break. That's an awesome new feature right there on the Cougar FTD. So basically what you had before where you had your regular latches and Basscat goes through all the trouble of really insulating these lids and making them awesome and airtight and and, um, and and to hold all your ice all day or, or keep the fish cool but like every boat manufacturer they put in this great big latch right there and you'd lose a lot of your your cool temperatures and a lot of heat would go through that latch and it wasn't insulated so what they what they figured out was they're going to keep the entire latch or the entire lid is going to be insulated and they put this latch on right here it's awesome it's a heavy duty rugged stainless steel latch like that and it clips like that and it locks in and it's not going to pop open it's um it's going to keep up your cooler your ice lasts for days now it's crazy how long the ice lasts in there when this thing's fully sealed and um and closed up and fully insulated like that and there's no you know latch right there now where the ice and the, the cold air can escape so that's an awesome new feature they put it on the cooler but best of all they even put it on the live well so let's check this out this is this is what i love because i was always whenever you get a co-angler in these bass cats that aren't used to the latch system um, a lot of times they'd leave theirs unlocked and you'd be going down the lake and there'd be a live well lid open and hopefully a fish didn't jump out but now with these latches the same ones that you saw on the front stainless steel heavy duty spring loaded snaps in like that now there's no guessing whether they're open or closed and that holds your live well there's no more cold air escaping you know your fish aren't going to heat up and overheat on those hot days and die you got a lot better chance of keeping them alive now when you're fully insulated like that with cold clean water so that's that's one of my favorite new features right there i love that latching system when you, you just look back and you see whether it's open or closed i love the new button they put in it's got a blue light that's always on whenever your main power is on to show you where to find it you know when it's dark out or or early in the morning before a tournament just push that button, LED light comes on, it's really bright, helps you so you can tie up your lures or, or find out what you're going to throw that day or, or whatever else you got to do when you need a little bit of light. But I love that feature where the, the actual button stays lit so it's easy to find. And then there's two of those on the front deck, uh, one on each side, and we even have one on the back deck for the co-angler. So that's a cool new feature this year. So one add-on I wouldn't go without is the trailer tongue pole. This thing, I get more use out of this thing than anything. And every bass cat we've ever had, I've had it with this on there. And man, it's a it's a knee saver, a life saver. Um, so many times you're in and out, whether you're launching your boat on your own or, or pulling the boat out, but it's also when you're when you're at home jumping in to do your tackle or put tackle in the boat or go work on your rods. You gotta get in and out. And this is this makes it so much safer. Um, it protects your boat too, because you're not climbing in from all different angles. It's got it's got this awesome cool thing, the cougar tracks on the on the basket cougar step. It's got a great big step, it can handle a big guy like me, big old foot on it. And you got steps here. I generally don't use the second step. I just go boom boom this, but I'm always grabbing that pole. And Basscat put the bend in the pole. At first it was a straight pole, but a couple of years back they put that bend in to accommodate for these back windows and, and back doors on your SUVs. But it's awesome. Um, I don't I wouldn't order one without it. It's it's a safety. It's a great safety precaution. It uh, makes my life a lot easier. Getting in and out, you just grab that pole, climb up, and you're in. And it's that easy. And then when you, you load the boat and you just locked it on the trailer, you just drove it up, I mean, you hit your, your front thing, you just grab that pole, and you jump down like that, and it's just as easy as anything. So, that so 
So one thing Basscat's always been known for is their awesome amount of storage and how well placed it is. And on the Cougar FTD, that's no exception. One of my favorite things is this cooler right here. So we got a cooler underneath this step. That ice, we put that, that ice in there two days ago and it's still strong. We're in Florida. It's a little bit of a cold front right now, but still, that's pretty awesome. It's, it started out as 10 pounds. It's probably nine pounds right now. That's awesome for like my day box. I put my drinks in there when I'm moving spots or running from spot to spot. Um, throw your sandwich in there or whatever else. Fit a pile of drinks in there. Bunch of stuff. I love having this step. I've had seats here before. What generally happens is guys step on the seat in the middle to jump to the back deck so, and you don't really get a lot of use out of that seat. So I love having this box here. You got your cup holders right there. This is one of the best features right there. It's, it's dry storage. It's um, I throw my scale, my gambler scale in there, another scale, tools, your power pole stuff. I'll throw my iPad in there. You throw your wallet in there. That's awesome to have. It's handy. Um, anything you need to get to in a hurry, I put it in there. Usually if I'm calling fish and, and writing them down, I put the pad and pen in there. Got your bit, your giant live wells. Basket went to that triangle formation a couple years back. It's awesome. Nothing ever jumps out of that. They're super deep. Uh, the only complaint I've ever had is is you can get your shoulder wet in that thing. That's how far down you got to go to get to get them. But you can pump some water out. You don't really have to get them wet. But but that, the live wells are awesome in this thing. You don't lose fish. And then you got a couple big boxes behind each seat. I I usually just throw um, cliff bars. Um, whatever else you got got some paper towels some tools um, general accessories back here a lot of my non fishing stuff but my boating stuff I'll throw back in here um, you got your safety stuff you got your flares and your, your fire extinguisher and, and good stuff like that you got another box the same exact size for the co-angler behind his seat so he can keep his stuff in there nice and dry and then under each seat is actually you got a lot of storage too so that's, that's another really cool feature. So there's really no wasted space at all in this boat. And then under the seat, you can put stuff like your face mask or your, you can put ropes under there or, um, or anything. Anything you want to keep dry. They're good dry storage too. And just put them under your seats. It flips down. Uh, you got your cooler up here too. You got a gigantic rod box on each side. Jeez, I don't know how many rods you could, you could fit in here. I got about 20 in there. Um, got your loose spinning, bait casting, whatever. I lay them down. There's spots to put them. Um, I put some up in there sometimes. Uh, other times I just let them lay down, but there's there's spots to put them individually and keep them separated if you want to do that. I like to just put them in there quick and just slide them in. And, and um, Rod Glove, another awesome company. Get different colors so I can quickly grab which rod. You know, I don't, I don't have to look at them to figure out which one it is. I know by looking at the color coded which ones they are with the rod socks and they come in and out you don't break rods that way you don't break break any tips or guides so that's awesome that's an awesome feature right there um, got yourself a day box up here this is this is for your you can put your uh, smelly jellies or drinks if you want to up there um, this is for your stuff that you know you're going to be using the, in the tournament it's quick it's easy to get to you don't have to jump back down to get it um, nice little day box good storage right there another huge storage compartment right there this will fit your boxes in there your trays um, two four six seven trays can fit in that thing you could latch them down if you want um, all sorts of other storage up there too this compartment over here I kind of use as like a catch-all I throw my rain jacket over here extra jackets um, my camera, my cameras, I got my seat up there, um, extra life jackets, all sorts of good stuff in there. You could, you could, it's also a full eight foot rod box too, if you want to store some extra rods. And then my computer system for my Ray Marines, I have mounted up against this wall right here. So it stays nice and dry. It, um, there's plenty of room and it looks nice. It's, it's really well kept. And then this is the box I fish out of right here. This one right here, I'll usually leave that unlocked, but um, I always wear my life jacket, so that's handy right there. Um, and this thing's huge, like I got enough, I rarely ever need any more storage than this box right up here. 
can keep all you ever need right in there for, for your fishing stuff and your day stuff and everything else. And, and that's where it is right there. You got your dual, your pro trim tabs on each side. So this one over here is my jack plate, up or down. This one over here is my tilt and trim of the motor, up and down. So that's awesome. I mean, that's something you really got to think about having on there. Most of them come standard. Um, most guys run them. It's a safety thing, so you keep two hands on the wheel because you're running 80 miles an hour in these boats, and you don't want to have one hand back here doing your tilt and trim. It's nice just to reach out there with a pinky or, or any finger and, and, and bring that motor up or down and bring the entire thing up or down. You know, you got your big your jack plates and right there and right there, and you can still have good control of the wheel. Bass Cap puts this wheel in. It's awesome. It, you can tilt the wheel, get comfortable if you like it up high. You can drive like this. If you want a little bit lower, there, there, or there, or there. So there's there's several spots, so you're always comfortable in a bass cat. The seats are really comfortable. Another cool thing, standard on all bass cats, you got your golden rule, your ruler. It's right underneath the, the, um, the console right there, and it's easy to get to if you got a measure of fish. Another cool feature on this boat are all the cup holders. This boat's got six cup holders. Um, right where you need them, right where you'd want them. This one up front's awesome. Obviously your trolling motor's not in the way when it's down, you're fishing, but um, I love having that cup holder right there early morning. If you bring out your coffee or tea or whatever you have up there, it's easy to get to. Um, you're right there fishing, you don't have to run back and forth. Once again, second year in a row, second year it's been out is the new Evinrude G2. This motor is the deal right here. Awesome on fuel, incredible torque, ridiculous hole shot, um, just top notch, top end too. Uh, hardly uses any oil and the thing's fast. I'm running a four blade on there. This motor is just bad to the bone. If you get a chance, check one out, try it out. It's awesome. It's a perfect combination of a fast boat and a fast motor. So for stopping power on this boat, we got the eight foot powerful blades by JL Marine. These things are awesome. It's amazing how fast they are, how quiet they are. Um, I love them, man. I, I install the pumps myself. It's an easy install. You can do it within an hour on your own. Um, it's the deal. We, uh, one thing we're working on are these new voice activated controls for this thing. So you just tell it, you say power pull down, and then they go down. And then we're working on the, the other part of it is you say power pull up, and they go up. So it's that easy. Um, it's a cool feature. I just made that whole part up. I actually have a remote in my pocket. But uh, yeah, so you got a remote in your pocket. I got one at the helm. These things are quick. They're quiet. They hold the boat. I don't know how we fished without them, to be honest with you, before this. Um, they actually, it's one of the tools that you could definitely say helps me put more fish in the boat right there. For electronics, we're running Ray Marines. I got an A97 and an A98 hooked up. They talk to each other. I got a C100, C200, the thing's touchscreen. It's so quick. It's easy to work in and out. Um, can do so many features on this thing. It's awesome electronics. It's clear, good color. So another cool feature on this boat is you got, of course, you got everything back here. And say you got to get in there, you got to work on some pumps or batteries or something. This is one thing I've always liked is is this actual that lid comes right off it's that easy you can take it you can set it to the side like this get in there now you can you're still up here on your on your back deck and you can work on everything i got aluminum battery trays in there they're not going to break they're not going to rip apart um, there's no straps to break or anything like that batteries are in there tight they're they're batting down i got all sorts of breakers um wires everywhere got my power pole pumps right here where a lot of people have like an oil reserve that's one thing that's awesome about that Evinrude is it's got the oil reserve right in the motor. And so it clears up area so I get to my power pumps easy. Um, got my battery charger, my four bank no-co in the back there. Mounted to the back, back wall and my battery's right here. Everything's easy to work on, easy to get to. Just like everything Basscat makes, easy, simple, quick. I got my retractable rod straps, rod buckles. They go in and out, it's awesome. They're out of the way. Um, they, they clip in nice and easy right there. Power pole, these are awesome too. Just one step, one step on those and you got your ups and downs. I like that. Up here I got 
a bungee cord in there so for my smelly jelly or or buoys or whatever you want to keep in there i was skeptical at first um when when i first had that thing up there because i was worried with a boat that can go 80 miles an hour of it uh coming back and whacking me in the face but i've been running this thing for about five years now and i put two or three smelly jellies up there and it holds them it's right there where i want it for fishing running a 112 Minn Kota four tracks this thing's bad to the bone it will cut some weeds so that's what we got up front here got my a98 ray marine so most times you're in your compartments um, when it's really important it's before a tournament it's dark out you're pulling out your rods or you're getting your tackle ready one cool thing this boat has all the compartments are lit so when you open that lid it activates the light on it has an led light comes on and it really lights up the box at night and you can see my hand there it's lit up and there's a light right up up here um there you go let's talk co-anglers for a quick second this cougar ftd it's got rod slots to put your rods you got a strap right there um, the seat's super comfortable got a nice oh crap handle right there for when the rides get really rough you can hold on to that thing you can hold on to this this lights up uh, it's another cool feature basket has you can pick your colors if you want a different color um, you got your strap for tying up right there it's a really good ride for a co-angler you got different spots where you can put your feet and push against in the seat you know when it gets really rough you can put your foot there or there um, really good setup couple cup holders there got another cup holder here it's comfortable for the boater it's comfortable comfortable for the co-angler just an all-around comfortable boat and, and then the performance you get out of it's top-notch too another cool feature on this boat is the boarding ladder um, I've had to use this thing a couple times in emergency situations and it's awesome to have it I'll tell you that it's something you forget about you don't think about very often but it's out of the way it's right there it's nice it um on this boat it flips up and and it extends which is really cool and it's that easy to use and it just flops down and you climb up I had a guy in Canada that there was no way I was getting him back in the boat he um, his boat submerged he was a big boy couple sweaters on and just big guy and I could there's no way I was getting him over the side of the boat we got him back to the ladder and he rested there and then he was able to climb up but that that's awesome to have you know if you're out swimming on a on a hot sunny day or if you got to rescue somebody or if you fall out of the boat and you know, these things can be tough to jump back into so it's nice to have it it's something you never want to use but when you need it it's nice to have it I'll tell you that you got that there um, you got your vents here you got dual gas tanks um, 26 gallon tanks on each side that's awesome to have pretty much covered it all you got your your uh, your grab there it's it's got cleats all over the boat which is awesome you have your your four cleats up high and then you have on each side you have this pop-up cleat right there if you need it another cool thing is you have power ports all around the boat i got um two up front this is for your gopros charge your phone uh, cameras whatever you need got power point right there straight across got one at the helm too 